Did you know that APRS group messaging is a thing? Me either. Let's do a little bit of exploring. Stick around and we'll get right to it. Real quick before we get going today, I've got to give a shout out to these guys. They're my latest patrons over on Patreon. If you'd like to help support the channel, I'll leave a link to Patreon down in the description below. So a couple of things before we get into this. I have only tried this on Yezu radios. We'll be taking a look in a minute at the FT5 handheld, the FTM500, and the FTM400. If you own a Kenwood radio like the D74 or the mobile one, I believe that's a 710, I'd love to know if this works on those radios as well. If you could put that information down in the comments, it would be greatly appreciated. Now, when would you want to use something like APRS group messaging? Well, I can think of maybe a few different examples. Maybe you're a uh, part of an off-road group and you would like to text everybody else in your group using APRS messaging. In that particular case, this would be a fantastic solution. Now, another instance is maybe your radio club wants to be able to send a message to everybody at one time using APRS. That would be another fantastic use case for APRS group messages. So let's go ahead and head over to the FT5. I'll show you how to set this up on it. And then we'll take a look at the FTM 400 and 500 as well. I am fairly certain that the other radios like the 200 and the 300 by Yezu should have this capability so it might not be exactly in the same spot in the menu system but it should be fairly close and point you in the right direction okay so first up we'll take a look at the yezu ft5d when you get the radio booted up go ahead and long press your f menu button that will bring you into this screen here once we're into that screen, let's go ahead and uh, click on or tap on the APRS. And you want to come down to option number six, which is the APRS group message. Let's go ahead and click into it. Now, you'll see right here that we've got all of these others that were in there by default. So all CQ, QST, and Yezu. What I did was I added this SRARC group into this particular radio. This will allow this radio to receive any messages that are sent to SRARC. Now, let's go ahead and take a look at another example. On the FTM 500, this is fairly straightforward and easy to set up. I'm going to long press the function button up in the top right. That will bring us into, well, not if that's on the screen. Let's try that again. Long press that button. That brings us into the deep menu. Now I'm going to use the sub dial down here to quickly move down to the APRS section on the menu or in the menu. And once we get to there, we'll go ahead and change back to the top button. And we're going to come down to menu item. I believe it's 94, if I remember correctly. Yeah, so we'll come down to menu item 94. I'm going to go ahead and short press the top right button to get into that. And you'll see uh, very similar to what we saw on the other radios. We've got the all, the CQ, the QST, and the Yezu. And then finally, I have added the SRARC group to this particular radio. Now, the last radio I want to take a look at is the Yezu FTM 400. So let's go ahead and see how to set this one up. First thing I'm going to do is press on the DISP setup button, and we're going to press and hold that to bring us into this screen here. Next, let's go ahead and press on uh, APRS. And you're going to come down to menu item 24. If we go ahead and go into that menu item, you will see the exact same things that we saw on the other radios. Yezu just puts several of these in here by default. We can change these to suit our particular needs. So we'll see the all in the beginning. Then we see CQ, QST, we see Yezu. And then finally, we see the one that I've added for SR. ARC. So let's go ahead and see this in action. Okay, so let's go ahead and give this a quick test. You'll notice that I've got the message addressed to SRARC, which is short for Stones River Amateur Radio Club. 
and then the message is test for video. So let's go ahead and press the transmit button now, and we should see that message pop up on both of the other screens. So there's a brief look at APRS group messaging. If you found today's information helpful, be sure to give us a thumbs up before you head off. We will see you guys on the next one. Until then, 7-3.